So we're going to be visiting three islands just off Greece. Check out that view. Morning guys, so it's our first day in Athens and we're actually going to be leaving Athens to go on a boat cruise for the day. So we're going to grab something really quick for breakfast, but it's really early in the morning so we're quite knackered, we've only had like three hours sleep. Peaceful. You can hear the church bell tolling and just birds. Everyone's kind of setting up for the day ahead. It's just so relaxing and nice here. I love it. Anyway, we'll catch you guys later when we get on our boat. So we're on the boat now. We're going to go off the cruise for the day. So it's a good day trip. We're going to be visiting three islands just off of Greece. I've never been to Greece before, this is my first time, and Tig's first time, so we're looking forward to it. We've got like about an hour here before we have to go off, so we're just going to a quick one and sort of see what the island's about. So on this island, there isn't really public transport, it's mostly just walking, I believe, and also you can go by donkey and kind of wander around as well. Look what I found on the beach. Heart shaped stone. Find some great beer. It's very nice. I can't quite discern the flavour, but it's very refreshing. It's really nice, it's very refreshing. There's a there's a really um, cool smell as you walk around this island. It's like it's like a spice. I think it's like cumin, but I can't be sure. But it's a it's a really lovely spicy smell that I'm smelling. I just can't discern what spice it is. I'm loving this island. It's very very laid back, chilled pace here. I really really like it. and we're trying to get up to the clock tower. We've only got 40 minutes here, so we don't have long. It's supposed to be a good view when you get to the top. We've made it to the top where the clock tower is. It's quite a lot of steps and it's kind of a bit tricky. You kind of lose where you're going a little bit, but the view is pretty awesome. down the bottom so that's how far we've kind of climbed up. Literally we've got to the top and now we're going to have to turn around and go back down again on the boat so it's a very very quick pit stop here. I think they need to extend it by at least half an hour to give people a chance to kind of eat in a place or drink in a place or just 
look, taking the view for a little bit, you know. So that's enough of me rambling. We're going to head back to the boat and go to our final island on this cruise. So guys, we are at the Temple of Athea at the moment. I believe it is 500 years before Christ is when it was built. And it looks amazing. I've never seen anything quite like this actually. has links with the moon, with nature and wild animals. She's my kind of girl. I really like this temple. You get amazing views and it's just so different to anything you know, that you get in the modern world. Regina is known for its pistachios and they have fields and fields of trees which have pistachios on them, pistachio trees. I originally thought they were olive trees but they're actually pistachio trees and they have a big festival every year where they have like pistachio alcohol, pistachio ice cream, pistachio everything, pistachio that you can think of and it's a big massive celebration apparently. So each tree can grow between 20 and 30 kilograms of pistachios. When you see the big big fields with it, you kind of just get an idea of how much they must produce. I'm going to try some pistachio Nutella. Oh my god, that pistachio Nutella was amazing. I don't, I don't actually say it's nicer than actual Nutella. And I boat hasn't left without us, yay! As you can see, I think thank you is Evgarasov in Greek. I'm not sure, I'm gonna to have to check with Melanis when I see him because I'll be seeing him in two days. You can kind of laugh at my Greek. Just stopped off here to have a bite to eat. I don't know if you can hear the pan pipe in the background, it's really nice and relaxing. It's like the square where there's a church and everything, and it's just really chilled. So <laughs> we'll catch you guys tomorrow on the next part of our adventure. See you guys then.